What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the shed here. I've got a new tool, a three and a half inch framing nailer, rigid, air powered, hence the little doodad back here. Uh, that's included, by the way. It comes with the swivel air hookup already doped into the uh, the bottom of the handle here. So uh, it's literally take it out of the box, hook it up, and start blasting nails um, with the proper safety precautions. Brush up on nail gun safety before you go get, you know, go out and just get one of these and a little pancake and think you're gonna, maybe a little more than a pancake air compressor, but before you think you're gonna go uh, hog wild with the framing because this is, is the whole concept of a, a nail gun is nail gun. It's a potentially dangerous thing, but if you follow the rules and wear glasses and uh, don't do anything silly with them, like try to shoot nails across your backyard. Uh, with uh, some kind of crazy device that you made, uh, with something that I've never done, but uh, <laughs> they can be great. So uh, the little bit of research that I did about rigid nail guns was ask a professional. I said to a friend of mine that's a framer, I was like, what do you think about rigid nail guns? And he's like, rigids are great. He's like, I don't, he personally doesn't own one. Um, he's had them in the past and has coworkers that have them and said the great thing about rigids is that they, they rarely jam up. They, they're durable and they don't have any problems with them. So uh, he said that they're great. Um, he has coworkers that use them. So thumbs up from a professional framer. Um, other bit of research I did is, and not just on HomeDepot.com, which this was sent to me by Home Depot. Uh, I, I checked HomeDepot.com. This thing's got a really good rating on there and other websites that sell it. And it has a pretty good rating all across the board. And at $199, it's, uh, it's a good bang for your buck in framing nailers. It's like... Not like the bargain, you know, the bargain, uh, the bargain tool store. Uh, apparently, uh, nothing but problems with those. You pay uh, 70 bucks for 50 bucks for one, and you get what you pay for. If you want something reliable that's going to, you know, get you the performance and the, and the product you need, um, you got to get a good brand. And uh, Rigid is a, is a known, well-known brand in, in nailers. <clears throat> the features on this are, first, let's go, let's check out the handle. Uh, rubber over molded really comfortable a big beefy grip if you got some big mitts this is gonna this is gonna fit nice uh, it's not so much for the dainty you need to you need to tackle this thing when you're using it you need to be in fully control of it so it's got a good handle um, it's got this air exhaust here that kind of directs the exhaust uh, forward a little bit so you don't get any of the blow off from uh, after you shoot a nail which is nice it's got this hook back here fits perfectly on some 2 by stock. Like I said, the swivel right there. Um, you got this trigger. The trigger feels nice. It feels durable. It doesn't wiggle too much. Like, it's not going to go anywhere. And if you dropped it, it, it's, you know, inherently the design. It's protected up in here. Um, the loading system is pretty easy. I'll unload some nails right now to show you. Slide them past that uh, spring-loaded pusher. And then pop that, too. And uh, it uses these plastic held together uh, round head framing nails so full round head framing nails this is a 21 degree model and it loads really easy you just and you slide them in the back there and they're in the channel and then you pull this thing back and boom you're locked and loaded and ready to go oh yeah look at that mg for i guess that's the periodic symbol for magnesium uh apparently this is untouchable as far as speed in you know it's here you got two different modes single shot so that's press shoot and then you have so that's pew right there that's pew mode and this is pew 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 so you have a select a select fire uh burst mode right there so you put it on that mode and then that's hold the trigger down and it fires every time you uh depress the plunger on the end there that plunger has some pretty very aggressive spikes there for toe nailing anything at an angle this thing's going to be nice and firm for when you blast it. <laughs> uh, it'll shoot up to uh, three and a half inch nails, I think down to the two and a half inch, so you got a range of sizes you can use with this. Uh, it also comes with this rubber pad there that goes on the spikes, on the teeth there on the end, so it's, uh, it'll, you know, if you, if you don't really want to be leaving spike holes in your material for whatever reason, um, you got the little rubber cap for it. But, um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a framer. I don't know a whole lot about framing nailers, but uh, from my research and uh, my own use, it's 
pretty nice. It's it's got a good weight to it. Feels good. Feels quality. It feels like it's a, it feels like it's a good nail gun. I don't know if this is the top of the line uh, or, or ha where this really fits into the market, but uh, I think at one ninety nine, it seems to be good uh, bag for your buck. It's got like a four four and a half star rating out of five on uh, on Home Depot dot com. That is where I got this. Home Depot sent this to me, which is perfect timing because uh, this year's one of this year's projects was redoing a fence, which. Uh, has not happened yet because uh, if you know anything about the weather recently, uh, it's been pretty much raining. There was like six, four, six weeks of no rain at all, and then uh, the beginning and so far the end of the summer has been nothing but rain. So one day soon here, I'm going to be getting some lumber and uh, be redoing some fences. My fences are kind of dilapidated, and I think this is going to work good. Um, it's got the oh yeah it's also got the nail depth adjustment if your nails are sticking out or they're too deep just fine tune this little orange knob right here and you can get the proper depth based on the uh, density of the material um, also speaking of density this is uh, one of the bullet points on the website is that this will go into the hardest engineered lumber the uh, micro lambs the engineered lumber beams that you find in brand new houses these days uh, structural beams um, you can dial this thing right in to, you know toenail uh, or, or nail top plate right up underneath one of those no problem um, so let's uh let's let's blast some nails but first the safety glasses let's hook the air up you can hear it charge up the air motor safety glasses engaged and let's uh we are in uh hold on we're in burst mode. Let's go for single shot mode first. All right, let's see how that goes. Press it down. Boom, no problem. We got a little bit of that plastic on there. All right, the head's sticking up a little too high, so we're gonna give it like a quarter turn. It's still a little too high. Give it like a half turn. Still too high. Let's give it a full turn. All right, it's getting closer. Give it like a turn and a half. There we go, that's nice and flush. Yeah, I shouldn't have put my hand in front of that just now. That's probably one of the uh, safety, if you go to work for a framing company and watch the safety video, that's probably something they tell you not to do. So let's put it on pew 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 mode. And uh, I don't know if I said this, but it'll shoot up to eight nails a second. It's, it, that's pretty much as fast as you can do it. Um, burst mode here is where if it's pressed down, you can just hold the trigger and every time you press it down, it fires. So. Triggers in. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I'm losing. Yeah, I don't. My air compressor probably wants to kick on because these, all these nails here that I have to pull out later, um, <laughs> they're all increasing in height. So I think my air compressor is uh, lagging be on the on the PSI right now. But uh, for somebody that doesn't know much about framing nailers, I like this. I, I do know tools. I think. I don't know. There's people in the comments that beg to differ, but. Um, this feels pretty quality. It's like I said, it's got a good grip, a good thought out design. Um, and by my research, this is a good one. So check it out if you need a framing nailer. Um, if you're you know getting into framing, you know, young buck going to work for the framing company, working for dad's framing company, uh, this might not be a bad option. So uh, check it out. I will have a link in the description. And uh, maybe when I get to actually building this fence, um, I will do a little video about that. So. That's it, and thanks for watching.